how Thank was you. last night? Did you enjoy that? Oh, such fun. Fantastic. It was really, really fun. And it was, it was just really touching as well, because it, it is 20 years since mm -hmm. I first wrote Bridget. I was six at the time. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it was just really nice. It was, you know, Leicester Square and, and everybody really was glamorous. there. And what do you think it is? I mean, like you said, 20 years, and yet there is still such a fondness for her, isn't there? There does seem to be, yeah. I think it's because when I first started writing it, it was anonymous. I thought it was just a column in The Independent. I thought it'd be stopped after six weeks for being too silly. And so that allowed me to be really honest about what it feels like to be a woman. Yeah. And I think it's really about the gap between how we all feel we're supposed to be and how we really are. Mm. And I think that gap has only got bigger over the years with social media. You know, all the kids are Instagramming, not what they really feel, but their prettiest moment and yeah. their best moment. And, you know, they're looking at parties they didn't go to and people that have been sort of photoshopped on the phones. And, and there's a huge gap between that and how they actually feel inside. I so think. what would Bridget yeah, yeah, have right. been like if, it, if you'd been thinking about writing it now and, mm. uh, and she had had all that social media at her fingertips? Well, I think it just exaggerates well, she everything. Had used it. Yeah, definitely. The last the book I wrote, Mad About the Boy, um, she was on Twitter and everything. The more she tweeted, the less followers she got. <laughs> <laughs> that's what happened to me. That's so <laughs> and, and that's the other thing because the, that book is set later than the movie. This this book, which we'll come to in a minute, because there is a book that goes with this movie also. Um, but th this is set before. This so is was that a challenge for you to, to write? Of going back, all oh, right, what would she have been doing then? Well, it's all sort of got itself in the wrong order <laughs> because it's a lot quicker to write a book than make a film. But, of course. but then I think if it was in a perfectly straight line, it wouldn't be Bridget Jones, would no. it? <laughs> no, that's true. That's thing. Yeah. So when you were, 20 years ago, you said it, it, it was a surprise that it went beyond that sort of six weeks. Um, when did you think, oh, my God, this is, this is catching fire now, this is a bit of a phenomenon? I think it was when they started getting letters at the Independent, fan letters. We actually got one letter from a man saying, dear, to the editor saying, Dear sir, I would quite like to shag Bridget Jones. Could you let me have her phone number, please? <laughs> Many thanks. Yours faithfully. <laughs> so it was just sort of the fan letters and then, you know, more and more people were talking about it and then I made it into a book. But it was quite a slow... It was an overnight success. And am I, am I right thinking? I mean, initially, uh, th th a lot of people were sort of saying, you know, is this, is this based on you? And it was something that you denied a lot. And, and now, as the sort of years have gone by, by you're sort of a, a little bit saying that maybe a yes. bit... And is that right? I mean, yeah. are you, I mean, are you Bridget? Bridget? But now I do admit that there's quite a lot. I mean, in the new book, which is called Bridget Jones's Baby, there was a thing that I actually did, which was... When I had my daughter, I had a by C-section and I prepared the birth announcement because I knew, you know, when she was going to be born and everything. But then I pressed send all by mistake. So then I had to email everyone and say, I'm really sorry, but I haven't actually had the baby yet. <laughs> and then when I did have the baby, I thought, well, I can't now say, oh, I've had the baby now. <laughs> oh, God, you are Bridget Jones. You really are. So I have put that in the new book. <laughs> 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 and, and so, phenomenal success and a great reviews for the, for the film already. Um, but there is talk, and this is quite interesting, of a, of a musical. Yes, well, we did do... We've done quite a lot of work on the musical. We've done some workshops. Um, but you know what it's like with the theatre, that everyone sort of comes together and works on it for a bit and then they all sort of mm. flutter off again. But I'm really excited about the idea of a musical and, you know, I hope that... What sort of time frame are you looking at? Well, you can never really tell, because it depends when the theatre's available and when it's all... It's very spontaneous, the theatre, which is what's so f such fun about it. But, you know, in the next few years, I think... Have you written it? Yeah. Have you? <laughs> I mean, it's not finished, but, yeah. But it's happening. Well, I hope so, yeah. And, it's, and it, as for sort of books, and, and then the, the new book that, that goes with the movie, as we said, is out on the 11th of October, the isn't 11th it? 11th of October, yes. baby. And is this it for her now, or can we, over the years... I know you like to leave long gaps, but eventually will we see more from Bridget? Well, Bridget Jones's Baby is the, you know, the next one that's coming out, but I think I'd wait until I've got a proper story to tell and something to say yeah. that means something. Otherwise, people just won't 
believe in her yeah. anymore, you know? Do you, yeah. when you write, if you were to write another book, and you say that you always wrote anonymously, you didn't see Bridget because it was always first person, do you, would you struggle to write now and not have Renee in your head? That's quite interesting, actually. I think I still do write as her. You know, I'm seeing the world through Bridget's eyes, so I never actually, have never seen her. If I'm writing a movie script, then I'm writing for Renee. But with the books, it's, 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 it's different. different, yeah. For more of the same, just click here. And don't forget, you can subscribe for even more of these amazing videos exclusive to our channel. Did you initiate our Patrick into Britain? Did mm. you, was there any initiations okay, on set? We can't, yes, well, it's embargoed. You can't really discuss the hazing um, and the, in, the initiation yes. ceremony. Yes, yes. It's, uh, it's a dark Masonic. <laughs> <laughs> Were, um, they, were they tough, Patrick? That's all I want to know. Uh, it was what I needed to have at that time in my mm. life. He's, he's, he's more, better formed as a person. Yes, I, I've grown so much in the last <laughs> month. <laughs> <laughs>